just type your city, country, town in the Zoom chat. Let's make this map light up like a Christmas tree, right? So I'm just going to fly around and look at folks we have starting from here in the East Coast. We've got no one yet in the East Coast. We've got people in Chicago. We've got people in, in Texas. Awesome. Beautiful. Is anyone else in the US? Please do jump in. Do we have people in Europe? I'm going to bet we do. Okay, we've got people on the West Coast over here. That's in Porto. And uh, let's pull up what we've got in Asia as well. Okay, we've got a lot of dots out there in India. I think that's enough of a strong case to zoom in there and see folks that we've got. Uh, people from all over, really. We've got people in Shillong. Gosh. I, I can be giving an entire geography lesson over here if I were to zoom all over this. So uh, we're going to give people another minute or so, and then we're going to kick it off. And while we're doing that, for those of you who just joined us, uh, we're just getting trying to get a sense on where everyone is joining us from. So if you just joined us, put it on the map, type where you're joining us from in that map over there. And as your locations come up, you're going to see a little dot come out there. Uh, it's, it's just beautiful how all of us from across the world are connected in this little time and space for one common purpose. And we're going to jump into that in a couple of seconds. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you, folks. Uh, thanks for joining us. Oh, we got someone in Nepal. Thank you. We just saw that little dot come up there. Oh, wow, we're seeing a lot of answers coming up suddenly over there. Greetings from Pune. Greetings indeed. Namaskar. Thanks for joining us. All right. Thank you, everyone. And, and uh, as you've probably seen, this is a slightly different from what you might be used to. Uh, and, and before I give it to our guests and introduce them, uh, and, and actually as I introduce them, I'm just going to ask you to answer one more question over here. Uh, we have many of you, we have 140 plus of you right now, and the number is going up as I speak. So just want to get a sense on, you know, what made you join today? I mean, what, what do you hope to learn in today's session, right? Uh, we've got very, very talented guests over here who can co cover a whole bunch of topics under the sun. And yes, we have an agenda on how to build an on online audience. But I just want to get a sense on you know what, what made you join. So just type in the chat as to what you hope to learn in today's session. Okay. And here's the objective. We've got to try and... Uh, fill this entire block over here. We just crossed the 150 mark. And as those answers come in, uh, it's a good occasion for me to introduce our, our amazing guests. Uh, I've had the pleasure of knowing these two gentlemen uh, for some time now. I first met Manish, uh, first quick introduction, I'm Lux Narayan, CEO and co-founder at Stream Alive and the technology you're seeing right now in this session, which powers the interaction, makes it a conversation rather than a monologue is Stream Alive. Um, I know a lot of you might be taking notes and talking about this, tweeting about it. If you do, we'd be grateful if you mentioned Stream Alive and help us spread the word on this new way of communicating that we are seeing and pioneering here in the session, but some, some fantastic answers over there. Uh, my guests here, Manish, I've had the privilege and joy of knowing Manish for many, many years. We first met with my previous startup, a company called Unmetric. He's the kind of person who, who grows on you, uh, no reference to his hair in whatever fashion, but he's the kind of person who literally grows on you. We met in a very different context at a TED event, and it just struck me how, how this was a person who was so naturally giving, right, in terms of making everybody around him look good, helping people giving them tips on how to do things. He made me deliver one of my best speeches uh, ever. And and uh, sorry, just to pause, people are asking for local recordings. We will be sharing a recording afterwards. So we're going to be denying that. We will be sharing a public recording of this afterwards. Yeah, Just letting you know. So Manish is someone who uh, I have known since then. And not surprisingly, I keep hearing anecdotes and stories of how he's touched others' lives, make made others look great. Uh, help people with, uh, you know, their own um, businesses, with their own individual presence. Um, I, I know that he went out on a limb during COVID, helping people with, with literally everything under the sun. 
and it's not surprising that someone like Manish naturally surrounds himself with other amazing people, which is kind of where Abhishek comes in. I had the privilege of meeting Abhishek a little over a year ago, where Manish said, you guys just need to connect. And we got started and we got chatting and I was picking his brains initially for, you know, Stream Alive's social strategy and content and pretty much on everything. And for those of you who can see the flamingos on his background, we're actually privileged to have Abhishek in an urban setting because 80% uh, of the time in any given year, any given month, he's in some unknown forest uh, with very limited internet connectivity which is also true about money. She's also mostly in rural. So these are mostly rural folks. So we're very privileged to have them in an urban setting today for the session we're doing. Uh, so without further ado, Manish, Abhishek, thank you so much for joining us. I know you don't do these sessions too often. We are honored, thrilled, privileged that you're doing it here with Stream Life. And I say that on behalf of 172 other people, not counting you, me, the, the, the three of us, but lots of people here. Uh, lots of things that people hope to hope to learn and do. So over to you. You've been seeing those Tetris styles fall. Um, what of these things are we going to cover? What are we going to talk about? Um, take it away. And look, we'll just have a free-flowing conversation. Let's have fun like any of our conversations. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of interesting things for people to pick up. Uh, thanks, Lux. I mean, you, you've been very, very kind with uh, the introduction. Uh, have haven't done a session for longest time now and uh, i was reserving it for myself because i was on a learning spree uh content has changed a lot in last two years uh and uh, i was not not very expressive also uh, on social media and people were inquiring that hey we don't get those tips from you anymore uh, what's happening you've gone on this completely philosophical tangent and stuff like that is because at the background i was kind of uh analyzing and studying and things have changed rapidly uh, but yeah, happy to be here today. I'm I'm seeing that uh, on 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 such an evening in India here, it's like almost 180 plus people joined. So I'm um, I'm taken aback with the numbers. I thought some 20 30 people will join, but great to see these numbers. Thank you, folks. Abhishek, yeah, please go ahead. Hi guys, thanks Manish Bhai. Uh, thanks Lux uh, for uh, having this event and for having us. It's uh, Really exciting to see so many people. People, uh, this is a topic that we all have encountered at some point in our journeys <clears throat> in the last few years. Specifically after uh, the entire COVID transition that happened in the content world, uh, while it un was a very unfortunate event worldwide, it changed the lives of a lot of content creators. It also changed the entire creator economy the way we knew it. It's it's hence been a different world altogether and it has evolved rapidly since then so uh I, I enjoy these sessions because every time we do this something new has happened in the creator economy something new is happening in the content world and and it's good to you know go through these uh some of the basic foundations but also you know build on those and see where we are at today because this is a rapidly growing and changing uh industry uh it is going to evolve and what is amazing is is the rate at which it's evolving so we need to keep up with it uh, both as individuals and as organizations as brands as uh, companies uh, because uh, let's face it every organization today is is uh, will sooner uh, or later become a content company if it is not already right so i think i think it's great to have the sessions and discuss and it's great to have also see some very nice content creators with us today. Janvi, I can see her here. Great stuff. She's one of the bright stars of content creation in India. So nice to have her here. And uh, everyone knows Manish. Uh, so yeah, Lux, thank you. Uh, it's great to have uh, to be here among all of you and have a great discussion. Hey, awesome. And since you mentioned content creators, I just want to get a bit of a read of the room, if that's okay, uh, just to also get a context of the kind of questions and things that we have. And really, you have so much, such a, such an amazingly participative audience that I don't think I need to do anything because my work is really taken care of by all the stuff we've gotten over here. People giving feedback, uh, explaining why they joined this session. I'm just going to scroll through this a little slowly so you guys get a sense of what people want to do. And, and from our past conversations, I know we're going to be covering some of these in terms of, you know, how do you create content, guidance to provide value, personal branding, right? Uh, converting content into a business. But before we jump in, Abhishek, you mentioned we've got 
you know, some of your friends who are content creators. Um, I know we've got some folks from, from various walks of life, people from the army, we've got people from uh, co corporate America, we've got people in corporate India, we've got students. Uh, I just want to get a quick sense of, of who's in the room as well. And uh, I'm just going to ask one more question from folks. Uh, people, if you can, in one or two words, uh, please don't make it very long. Just one or two words describe what you do for a living. It just gives us a little additional context on, on reading the room. So if you were to describe what you do for a living in one or two words. Gosh, look at that. I'm, I'm just going to keep quiet as that populates so you get a sense of what the dominant folks are in the in the room. I, I have a friend who's joined Anamika. She's a brilliant poet and a writer. She's amazing with what she does. Uh, oh, wow. She's featured like at many places and stuff. I mean, I'm just waiting for that star to shine one day. She's, she has an immense amount of potential with her work. And her name is Anamika, you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, which is actually a great segue into a couple of things, folks. Uh, as we just seeing this, we have a lot of people who are yet to do their best work and are un unemployed at this point, and they're on to great things, I'm sure, going in the future. We have people in, in product management, working in startups. We have copywriters. Uh, folks, by the way, if you have questions and things, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll have work with any time stream life, etc. automatically. And folks like Anamika and others who've got amazing work that you'd like to put a spotlight on, uh, we believe that these sessions are not just about presenter to audience. It's about everyone meeting. Someone's having fun with the sketchpad as well. It's it's, it's all good. Yeah. But it's it's all about <laughs> us getting in touch with each other too. So if you have any links that you would like to put a spotlight on, share your links in the chat too. Streamalive automatically curates links. And I'll just show you how that works very, very quickly. Uh, Streamalive looks at questions and pulls up questions from the chat as they come in as well. And it also pulls up, so someone put a link over here and all of those links come in over here for, for us to go through. So if we run short, we might jump into these and, and look at them. But just very quickly on that uh, word cloud that we have, this gives you a sense of who we have in the room. So I'm gonna stop my share over here now and just uh, you know let you take on any of the questions people have asked or, or jump in. But maybe a good point to start is something both of you said, which is things have changed a lot in the last yeah. couple of years, yeah. right? Uh, and that's a word I saw. I heard you mention more than a couple of times: change, change, change. So, so for us with the untrained eye or ear, what's changed? Uh, okay, I'll I'll take it first. Uh, the thing is that uh, frequency has changed. Uh, a lot of people uh, have discovered content creation or building their personal brand on internet uh, uh, as as a mainstream thing. Uh, I'm very happy that the entry barrier is is low. Uh, you just need uh, access of internet, which which is not a problem in our country anymore, fortunately, uh, which is also being solved day by day. Uh, and and people are getting informed. Uh, they have just figured out one more way. I, I really was kind of happy seeing that unemployment thing come up bright and shining. It's because that, see, this is, this is where it gives me hope to to kind of tell people that hey, these are the kind of things that you will do, which 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 will change your status from being unemployed to self-employed to making money and having you know that sense of uh, ownership. Um, what's what's changed more is uh, the the way people are consuming content. Uh, Everybody is getting smarter day by day, right? Uh, so uh, you cannot bullshit. Uh, you cannot uh, uh, you know just uh, you know make up things and stuff. Uh, things are caught. Um, and at the same time, uh, platforms are evolving themselves, right? Uh, so end of the day, we all become, I don't want to use the word, but yeah, puppet to, to, to platforms because they have the control. They have the remote control, right? They, they change when and how your content will travel. Then, you know, as we Indians, we are jugadus and we completely jugadofy on on how how we beat the algorithm and how we play along the Money, know, sorry, right on the wave. Do you mind just explaining the word jugad for uh, those folks who are not from India for their benefit? It's a beautiful word. Can do you mind so, just explaining yeah, it, the word jugad? It, it, it's a beautiful word. It's a beautiful hack. Jugad just means finding your way around uh, through whatever uh, resources is available and through through whatever adversity comes through. Like you, it's a never give up attitude. It's it's a way to find your way out. Like for example. Uh, for American folks, they would, and, and folks from Europe, you guys will relate by, when you say you build it from garage, 
you know you you built it while you had nothing that's all jugad you've also done jugad right so so it's just that it's a it's a bright thing and we take it with pride in india because we just have solutions to everything right um so yeah laksh i mean that's that's what uh, it is when i say things have changed yeah abhishek your point yeah so uh, i just adding to what uh, all the points that manish mentioned i am in complete agreement few things that i think on a major level have changed is firstly the numbers have changed number of people creating content before and after has changed so much that while it is great for the creator economy as a whole because we all get to consume so much content we all get to learn from others content we all get to evolve with the trends that are moving ahead right what that has also done is it has obviously increased the competition right uh, so the ones the creators who were already big or had created substantial following before covid their outlook after that is completely different from someone who's starting off now right earlier you could experiment for a while keep changing your niche for a while till you figured out what you want to do and you could still be growing along the way right now it's completely different right you already have to stand out for your content to stand out because there are so many content creators while the competition has increased this has also led to a lot of content being replicated just in different forms you end up seeing the same content sometimes you see the same reel being recreated in so many different ways but the end message is the same right also predominantly because there are so many people making content in each in each domain now right so earlier what was considered niche is now has become mainstream and or and today's niches real niches are actually very micro sub niches like we all know this content creator from india her name is kk create she talks about the geography of india and in a very unique way right so she has figured out a sub niche within within the india spectrum to uh, you know entertain or provide value to audiences on the other hand we have someone like uh, ayush radha who is not even, not only gone niche in the kind of comedy that she does but the way of delivery is also very different from all the other comedians or all the uh, uh, lighter content that is there so that has given uh, rise to a different genre altogether that she's created for herself so when you create content in today's world you have to stand out there are two ways of standing out either you stand out by picking a topic or a domain which is unique today which is very difficult to find by the way or your delivery has to be unique one of the two has to be completely different for you to stand out if you can do both together then then you are you are definitely a superstar in the making uh that's where i would again mention janvi because she kind of fixes both right she's taken a unique unique domain and topic and she's added her own style of delivery which is different and put it together and that's why she stands out so it's very easy for me to identify her in a crowd for example so yeah uh, just to sum up i think the numbers have changed majorly in the creator economy competition has in- hence increased uh, hence more important for you to have great quality while standing out uh and this was not the case 2 3 years ago we are competition was slightly you know easier i would say uh, like manish mentioned all the platforms have changed or rather are changing constantly uh video format has taken off so so fast in fact uh not not many of us imagined that reels would become such a mainstream thing uh, not many people were excited not many of the youtubers were excited when youtube shorts came about right so change is whether we like it or not is is going to happen uh threads came elon musk has changed the face of uh, uh, twi- uh twitter x uh linkedin got into video which was not imaginable till a while ago right yeah so all yeah. platforms are evolving and they will constantly do so so creating an audience does not go into just what you are doing it is also a part of how are you adapting to the environment which is the platform that you are at well okay there's, there's there's quite a bit to to unpack over here right uh, so so one one basic question from hearing what you said in terms of everyone approaching every niche for someone who's just getting started now for example or just in those early stages it can be pretty overwhelming and there's often a sense of oh gosh i missed the boat it's a little too late for that um, is, is is that is that validated is it is it uh, is it like if if you've not jumped on to the bandwagon now or if you're just starting on this year it's it's a little too late because every single niche one can think of has been exploited and how much tonality can you bring in um what, what what's your what, what's your advice to someone who who is early on in in these steps uh abhishek you want to take it first or should i go ahead. go for it i'll follow you okay cool 
so uh, uh, laksh i i don't uh, i want to dismiss this uh, you know uh, and i want to be cutting through it it's not late content creation is is a very very new thing it's not even like you know you take any industry right i mean uh, you've been in the corporate you've run startups yourself i mean if we talk about any product or service which is world class and if you talk about any person as a brand who's who's world class has given like 15 20 years of their life and time to build something this entire industry only is the creator economy industry only is not even a decade old they're like 7 to 8 year old right and the reason why we call it uh, that oh it's saturated and so many people have already started and they have achieved these numbers they we see some of the superstars making a lot of money others struggling and stuff like that is because you know um, yes there is this survival of the fittest kind of a thing uh, there is competition uh, however when you say uh, have i missed the bus no the bus is still parked please get on the bus start today start yesterday uh it's not late at all uh every 3 to 4 months i am taken by a storm when somebody who approaches me saying manish bhai we are starting and i'm starting and this is what i'm thinking and they put their heart and soul into it and 3 to 6 months i see them really killing it and there i also know friends who've been trying for 7 to 8 years and they have still not cracked it so so you know uh it is going to be like this and uh, it's not late i mean after all i want to say is it's not it's just started i mean there is scope in so many fields right for example i heard somebody say to me you podcast everybody is starting podcast and podcasting is so saturated now and i'm like how many podcasters podcasters are there i mean look at the scale of the internet uh, the most followed podcast is what 5 to 7 million subscribers follow and uh, there are you know around 100 plus million people who are uh, you know coming on internet every day how is it saturated it is like what 3% 2% of the entire gamut so it's not i mean you just need to begin that's encouraging that's to my hear. point yeah yeah there there's this, shake anything uh, to add yeah there's a gentleman on on instagram he makes reels his name is people baba p e e p a l i think Seven steps talks about gardening and plants and nature and and it's really 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 damn good. It's it's pleasing. It's peaceful. It's uh, uh, informative. It is something that we can all action and it is uh, actionable advice that he gives. Right? If you would have thought, you know, what I'm I'm too old, too late. Instagram and all these reels is a young young generation's uh, piece of work, not mine. Then. uh i think it would have been great injustice on his part and he he does exceptionally well and he he makes uh great content it's just him talking to the camera but giving value right uh it might be niche but he still picked something that is that is exciting and he's put it out there uh last few days we've seen this fitness uh i don't know now you can call him influencer but fitness content creator ankit who's done the 75 hard and and you know he just he was just authentic he was just authentic in what he was trying to do uh and he did it with all his dedication and he did not miss a day so the algorithm helped them the sentiment of the audience helped them and he was genuinely adding value and showing in certain efforts and the audience usually connects with that right so i think as long as you're genuine as long as you can be disciplined in your content creation journey uh no one no one can you know in a day uh, figure out on the first day what their niche is or how will they succeed it's it's an it's a journey it's a process that you need to put in the hard works uh, you need to give it time you need to learn with the content that you're making and keep uh, you know implementing the learnings that you have consistently and after a period of time you will see that you will suddenly start shooting up uh, we have a friend of ours his name is nirit he was making content for i think 2 plus years uh, and and he had barely hit uh, 10000 followers on instagram but after that two years a sudden spike came and in the next one month he hit hit 150k right so oh. uh, it uh, the algorithm helps those who are consistent however uh, however slow the progress is i mean uh, some legendary person has said it is 
uh, better to go, go slow in the right direction than to go fast in the wrong direction. I would just say that even if your progress is slow, uh, keep moving forward, do not give up and identify that uh, it is never too late because there is still so much room for people uh, to create content. And I would want to end this part with just one saying that not, as of today, I don't think content creation is a zero sum game. If you're making great content, it is not coming at someone else's cost. Right, uh, uh, an audience can only consume so many minutes of social media in a day. That does not mean that if he is consuming five people, it is at the cost of five other people. Right, it is at the cost of what is interesting him at that point. So, uh, with these things, I would second what Manish said. Yeah, I Lux, uh, before we move to another thing, I just wanted to add one more thing which is very authentic uh, in the process of, of is it late, not late, and how to start and when to start. Just want to reinforce this. Uh, and it goes for entire world uh, and and for I mean for India specifically, we are a diverse country with so many languages, uh, so many dialects. And trust me, uh, nothing is a barrier. Your language is not a barrier. Uh, what kind of camera you hold is not a barrier. Uh, what kind of background you have is not a barrier. What kind of knowledge you have is not a barrier. As Abhishek mentioned out, you know what what makes you grow is how authentic are you and do you show up every day. The showing up every day is the most difficult task when it comes to content creation. It is exactly like, you know, a sports person's training who goes to their gym or their practice field. Content creation is like sports. You have to show up every day. It is, it is not easy, guys. It's painful. And do not, do not think that it's going to be, oh, you uploaded a reel and, and you got a, like, million view and you are a star next day not gonna happen like that there always will be exceptions somebody will get a spike success again if that person is smart enough to understand that hey now there is a responsibility of maintaining the spike and now doing things around that spike to sustain that i have seen people going from zero to 200k and 500k in three to six months and then being at that for five years and not growing and I have seen people like how Abhishek mentioned, people going from zero to say 150 subscriber or follower, 2000 to 2000 and to 1 lakh, 2 lakh and 5 lakh in, in, in like two to three years. And you see that, that they are making consistent amount of money. They are, they are kind of getting, uh, you know, a lot of uh, recognition for the kind of work they are doing and things like that. So the only entry barrier is you nothing else is an entry barrier doesn't matter your language doesn't matter uh your you know how you speak your tonality doesn't matter people do relate with authenticity and if you show up every day with a lot of authenticity you will grow and things are just beginning yes five years down the line my definition of have i lost the opportunity to jump on the bus may not change but tweak a little bit but right now i'm gonna stand to this saying that hey it's not late if you if you're giving up thinking it is late you need to really change your mindset you know oh there's a lot there that's, so that's the point yeah basically you don't have an excuse it's not late it's not a zero-sum game there is we're still at the very very early stages of this it's very easy to look around and say Gosh, everything that has happened and can be done has been done, but that that's that's not true. And it's about Abhishek. I remember uh, you you put me on various fitness programs as well in terms of uh, you know slow reps and things. And I can see the parallels between that and what he said in terms of getting the reps in. They don't have to be fast; they can be slow, but they need to be towards a certain goal and with a certain uniformity of purpose, right? You both mentioned purpose a few times. I just want to use that as a segue to. I just pulled up a question here. Um, it, it just struck me, you know, in the title for this session, we said, uh, we said two things, right? We can, so you said about building an online audience for fun or for profit. And I got a sense from the answers in the room that people were doing it for themselves, they're doing it for their company. So folks, if you're considering building an online presence for fun, just type the number one in the Zoom chat. Again, just participate. This is Stream Alive works off the Zoom chat. If you're looking at building an online audience for, for personal profit, please type two. Uh, if it's for your company or building a corporate brand, type three. And if it's none of these and you're just uh, curious, 
and not really looking at building a personal brand at this point. Um, heads up, that's a bit of a trick question because I'm sure knowing Manish and Abhishek, they'll have a strong opinion on the number fours as well. And I can't wait to hear that. I'm just looking at their smiles and knowing these gentlemen for as long as I do, I can see their brains working in some ways. But what are you looking at building a personal brand for? I mean, are, are your creator looking at building it for yourself? Is it for fun? Is it for profit? Um, I, I love the way these polls dance, by the way. Uh, Okay, so 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 fun is if, if I were a horse racing commentator, I'd be like, okay, fun is on the lead, fun is on the lead, fun is on the lead, profit, profit, profit. But let's just see where this ends up. Right? So you're gonna okay, so mostly for fun. Um, a lot of people who are curious, who probably um I'm willing to bet uh thought like me in terms of oh, we missed the bus. Okay, uh, I don't know if I allow people to just give one answer per person. I probably should have done that when I put the settings for this poll, but somebody might be messing with the poll as well. But you get a sense, you have a lot of people across, not too many people doing it for their company or their brand. Um, and, and while you just reflect on that in terms of, you know, what do you think in terms of purpose? Because obviously purpose drives your ability to sustain your enthusiasm, show up every day when, you know, when your your think your view account or your impression count is just notching up a little little bit, you require a fair sense of purpose to to do those reps every single day. And and I think what you're doing it for probably has a very very strong bearing on it. I'm going to pass the mic on to you in a, exactly twenty seconds. Before which I just want to let people know. I just glanced at this, folks. You've shared a lot of amazing links, and all these links are going to be shared with everybody after this session. So you're starting to build your audience over here. Where, uh, by yeah. the way, Manish, you were way off mark. You said 30 people will land up. We are at 216 at this point. So whatever you do, please don't <laughs> gamble. Do everything else. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why when, whenever it comes about anything, money or, you know, anything, you know, where, where numbers are involved, I look to Abhishek and say, bro, it's the art department. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not the number guy. So yeah, I'm always <laughs> wrong with numbers. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, that is certainly annoying. Abhishek, that's certainly his forte. And, and for those who missed yeah, this out yeah. in the description, um, I should share this as well. Uh, Abhishek has the stinkiest pieces of clothing in anyone's wardrobe. He's got something used by Rafa and something used by Federer about five years back when they met him and he was working in sports management. And those have not seen a bath since. So it's just on the side <laughs> piece of information. So yes, he knows a lot about finance and sports and celebrities and, and folks. But uh, guys, keep, keep, keep those links coming in. We're going to share this at the end with everyone. Uh, someone's kid continues to have a ball with scratching and uh, annotating over there. That's all, all good, all beautiful. And also keep putting the questions in. Uh, my colleagues are curating it as we go in. So I'm just going to park these questions as well with you guys. Uh, maybe this is also a question we can take on after that in terms of short format versus long format. Uh, and also the purpose. So maybe, again, let's dive into these two for starters. One is there are people who want to do it for fun. For profit for themselves, profit for their companies, and they're just curious, right? And there are people saying, okay, do I have to, you talked about video and stuff, does this mean I need to look good on video? I need to create images, I need to become a Canva guru, or is there room for short form? Is there room for text? Lots of questions. I'm sure you have a lot of answers. Over to you, gentlemen. So, okay. Um, everybody who's saying that they're doing it for fun, you guys are liars. Nobody does anything for fun. I'm gonna, like, put it out there, I'll tell you. The reason why I say this with such a broad smile is because I know these buggers, they they will start it for fun. And the moment, the moment they see that, okay, this is spiking up or this is bringing, you know, some kind of dopamine some way, right? With numbers or, or if the, a brand reaches out or whatever, that fun changes into commerce immediately. And like it changes so fast. That you know, I've I've met I've met content creators and all shape size forms, uh, and uh, they're like, "Why are you doing this, bro?" And they're like, "Yeah, it's fun, right?" And the moment a brand comes in, some kind of money comes in, the they wear their you know uh, commerce hat immediately. So I mean, tell yourself that this is not fun. This is a sincere thing that you're gonna put your heart and soul into. So don't lie to yourself. You're not doing it for fun. Nobody does it for fun, right? That is how it is. You take it or leave it. Take it with a pinch of salt, mountain of salt, whatever, right? People who are saying that they're just curious and they want to figure out, uh, that, that's, a, that's a good entry point that, you know, everybody is curious about something and that is how you discover things, right? Discovery only happens because you 
were curious uh, about about stupid stuff and smart stuff and whatever right people who are in it to make money uh guys uh, as i said it's not going to be easy but it's going to be rewarding for sure i want to blanket one thing very basic it may sound as basic as it is but take it like a advice from a buddha person or whatever so you know anybody and everybody who has a career if you see they go to school then they go for their undergrad program then they do some special courses or they do uh, you know uh, now skill certificates and stuff like that so after your schooling you are spending 4 to 5 years and significant amount of money as well to get a job or to start something on your own right i mean even if you are applying in 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 government jobs or you are taking services or anything like that for sports person also right so there is a 5 to 6 years of investment plus a lot of money investment and after doing that you get a basic job and you start making a decent amount of money which is a respectable amount for you to sustain your expenses and save a little now all the folks who start content creation they also start content creation with the same mindset that hey i want to make 1 lakh rupee a month or hey i want to make 5 lakh rupee a month right but then you forget that it's not going to come day one right you if i mean if you had to do any 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 normal traditional job there is a 5 to 6 years of preparation with a lot of money being spent why don't you t- uh, treat content creation the same way i mean because the expectation is same of what you would expect from a regular job then you also will have to put that much hard work and you have to invest and i want to say invest both money and time in inverted comma bold letter blog italics whatever right you will have to you cannot run away from that right so that is that is a blanket statement i wanted to give and under that we will now break up stuff guys in this session we are also going to cover today and i'm going to speak on hacks and you know platform specific hacks and stuff like that it's all going to come ahead right but i just wanted to react on the poll thing right now uh, and 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 pass my mic to abhishek you know to say a few words on this so uh i want to address the people who said uh, i'm just curious i think uh you are curious about the whole world of content creation and building audience online i would want to tell you a few things you have two paths that you can possibly take uh, i wouldn't want to give you a third option option number 1 is the path of content creation where you are actively going to start creating content from the perspective of taking up a long term career or long term possibilities in the world of the creator economy option 2 would be you don't necessarily take up content creation as your primary job because you already have a job or you have a career that you want to build in something else however you definitely sooner or later will need to build your personal brand every ceo every senior management professional every skilled person anyone who has a specific skill a software developer all of all of us right sooner or later we will need to build our personal brand i believe that eventually our resumes will become obsolete because our personal brand will speak for itself now a personal brand involves you building your credibility through your work through your words and through your actions that you can showcase on social media so while you might not take up content creation as a full time job because it may or may not be your cup of tea or you might be just interested in say things like video editing or you are interested in uh, uh becoming a software developer or you are interested in becoming you know an hr manager whatever you your uh, preference or you know attraction in professional world is i think you definitely need to still explore and get into this world of personal branding where you want to add value to people from your expertise and build your persona and your credibility online so uh, food for thought for you guys who are curious and not started on this journey i think you should take one of these two options personal brand is irrespective uh, content creation is a different ball game both go into different directions though they serve eventually the same purpose
Manish, question for you on the hacks. Do you want to jump in uh-huh. there or look at uh, stuff people are struggling with and respond to that? We can go either way. Uh, you, you, you are the captain. Lux, you, you guide. However we want to go. Okay, you obviously haven't been on a boat or any other vessel with me, but we shall do it. Sounds good. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually going to just use one or two questions to guide me. And and um, I, I put a follow-on question to what you just said. I, I'm just curious about, since you had a lot of people saying, I'm just curious and doing it for fun. Uh, very quick poll. He's going to run this for 30 seconds. Folks, just put one, two, three, four on the thing. And um, again, requesting you not to spam the poll. Just uh, we, we are allowing people to put multiple answers in case a couple of them are relevant. But which one was, of these describe your thing? Have you never tried, don't know where to start, tried but gave up? In your initial stages, or have you been doing it for a while? This 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 poll is a very very important poll. I guess uh, this will uh, shape the conversation in a very very productive manner. Uh, this one this one will will initiate a lot of kind of. So I think you have most of the twos and threes people who either tried yeah. and given up, maybe yeah. because they didn't yeah. you know stop before that spike. Yeah. Talked about happened yeah. or. Yeah started initial stages uh, and it's kind of divided after that between the people who never tried and stuff. I'm just going to stop because I want to make sure we have enough time to to kind of discuss this. And uh, just as a heads up, I'm just going to give people a bit of heads up on this. We're later going to ask you what are challenges that you've um, faced with building an online audience and, and keep those questions ready in mind because what you're going to do is uh, also pick a couple of people who answer that question later, uh, randomly pick one or two of them for a session downstream with with uh, Manish and with Abhishek, who have very kindly, you know, volunteered some of their time to work with someone one on one, depending on who wins this. So heads up, there are even better stuff uh, coming when we look at these. But Manish, maybe we can just based on what we've got so far in terms of the feedback on where people are in their life stages, talk about a couple of of uh, things that they should be doing and platform specific hacks. Also, if you can address the thing on, if I am visually not comfortable with video uh, images stuff, if I, is there is there even room in today's world for someone who just wants to do text and nothing much more than that? So we'll just revisit all of yeah. this. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Well, uh, uh, Lux, can we go back to that poll again? I just uh, sure want to like pick things, you know, uh, address like each thing. Uh, Here's where we yeah. ended up. So ne- never tried, don't know where to start. Uh, well, uh, just start by going on the platform, uh, whether it be X or Instagram or uh, you know YouTube or uh, LinkedIn, whichever platform. I mean, Blogspot, whatever, and and start reading and start participating in conversation. That is how you start. I know it is very, very difficult to create original content and put out there and then get eyeballs for it and also get people to engage. It is it is a difficult task. So start by replying. Start by you know participating in a very healthy conversation and not going into a banter or proving a point and being a bully. Uh, I mean, and just go and give give up, give your things, right? All of you guys have knowledge. All of you guys are, uh, you know, the, you you have some idea about anything and everything so whichever topic interests you just go and participate i mean say right now uh, i mean india is huge on cricket and right now asia cup is up and the world cup is coming on right uh, if you think sports is your thing then why don't you participate in sports related debates which are going on or people putting opinion about how which country is performing and which player is performing and whatever right i mean at the same time be constructive as i said do not get into banter do not get into you know, ugly conversation, but but try and hold. Uh, you start if you if you have not really, uh, you know, uh, started, right? Uh, people who say that they have tried and given up. Uh, I feel you guys, and again, I'm saying, I I understand because it's not easy. However, uh, as I said, the simple simple thing is, there are hundreds of things that we do as a routine, right? I mean, from brushing your teeth to eating your food to, you know, going for a walk to sleeping and stuff like that, right? I mean, going to your job and stuff like that. All all you need to do is a little bit of time blocking, right? Give only 15 minutes a day. Block that 15 minutes on your calendar. 
and this is for people who are saying that hey tried but gave up because it's not working out and i'm not getting result you know just do that 15 minute blocking on your on your calendar use calendar block 15 minutes for yourself and in those 15 minute when the calendar rings just say that i'm going to go and i'm going to open that you know say the the x box the twitter box or or linkedin page and i'm going to write some of my thoughts that is there in my head treat these platforms as your diary and and whatever you think is is shareable write it down and put it out start putting don't see how many people are commenting not commenting engaging not engaging right if you are a video content creator and and if you are doing a reel or if you are doing a, a youtube short right use that 15 minute to just start your camera and shoot whatever you feel like in your heart and say it like a diary and you know in in today's time uh all these all these platforms have internal software or they have integrated software which will help you edit it add text add some music add make it interesting and you upload right one quick question manish that, on that We have yeah. a question from someone. You can just address that in the same breath of what you're talking. Mm-hmm. If you're a bit camera conscious while recording, how do you take it forward? And people talking about that being a fear and an impediment towards it. Would love to know that as well as. I'm a I'm I'm a fan. I'm a fan of a person. Her name is Ekta. She is a radio jockey. What she does is she and and she's I'm I'm sure she's talented with her voice because she's a radio jockey and you know um, she has a very uh, nice peaceful kind of a. a uh, voice right and she just picks up life lessons and records herself uh as a sound it doesn't come on the camera and then uses that sound bite and uh, yeah ek time love right and and then put slides on it one of one of the smartest guys that we all know navel ravikant if you if you follow his instagram you will never see his face he uses his sound and then there are texts coming up and and these are stitched very easily in the in the real section itself you know you don't even don't even need an external software or something like that and you upload it you upload with a caption you 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 and there are obviously we're going to talk about hygiene of upload and all so you do that i mean you don't have to don't i mean as i said uh, laksh the only thing stopping you is you that's all there are ways of doing it uh, if you are a writer please write if you if you want to if you think you are you are a, you know people people do voice i mean uh, there are voice artists who do mimicry and they make brand out of themselves right i'm really really happy to see that a lot of subject matter experts have started becoming content creators when i say subject matter experts i mean uh, medical doctors uh, psychologists uh, engineers uh, i see a lot of uh, you know the, the entire finance sector we, where we call fin influencers all of these guys have you know they they are subject matter expert of a certain topic where they started voicing themselves and they have they have kind of become brand right so so this is this is i want to say for for people who who say that okay we tried but 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 we gave up because it didn't work you you all you need to do is be there is is all i want to say abhishek if you want to add anything to it Yeah, I want to address the same question which Lux asked. If you are not comfortable in front of the camera yet, it is a very common problem. And uh, you want to be a content creator. You want to be making reels. You want to be making YouTube videos. But you are just not really comfortable in front of the camera. Which basically means either you are too conscious, or you are fumbling, or you are not confident enough to be in front of the camera. So for this, I have I have one. exercise which i think you should try if you fall in in this category of people uh every day just take your phone switch on your uh selfie camera put it in front of you look at it and talk for 1 minute straight okay and you talk about anything you feel like talking but you look into the camera and you see yourself and you just talk it's as if you're talking to a mirror just that you're recording it right and do this every day every day for at least 6 weeks you don't have to post this video anywhere you don't have to show it to anyone you will realize that after the 7th or the 10th day the way you're talking is already beginning to change because now you've started getting comfortable you realize that there's actually no audience around you you realize that it's you talking to you and eventually actually when you're actually recording videos that is what will help you 
because while recording no one is actually sitting and watching you it is you recording yourself and you will create you want to be your best self right and to be your best self you have to be confident you have to be confident about what you're talking you have to be confident in front of the camera so i i would recommend that you try this exercise for at least 6 weeks and and record it look look at the video notice what changes you want to make and try the changes the next day and then do this again and then do this again and on the seventh day you compare the first video of yours with your seventh and do this every week you will start noticing that the difference in the way you are creating the videos has changed so much by the fourth or the fifth week you will be a different person altogether you will be drastically oh. different and once you look at it and you've noticed started noticing the changes is when you can start feeling more confident about posting it online right if if you're beginning to get comfortable very fast i would add one thing to it you start planning what you're going to talk initially i'm just telling you do not have to plan let it be impromptu let it be instinctive so you can you can go out there and just you know let, mumble on is still okay but after a while if you're beginning to feel comfortable start planning what you want to talk keep it keep it to about a minute that's fine if you go longer is also fine but try not finishing in like 20 30 seconds because then you're not going to have enough to look back and learn from right so this is one exercise i recommend to anyone who feel that they are not very comfortable in front of the camera yet but want to be content creators beautiful guys uh, want to do a couple of things faster than i would like to now because i just want to uh, be mindful of time and and just quick hygiene check for everybody Uh, Manish Abhishek, are you guys going okay? Going a little over time for the folks who can stay on. Would that work for you guys? Uh, sorry, Manish, can't hear you. Uh, still can't. Oops. Sorry, I was on mute all this while. Oh. I'm so sorry. I've said. I mean, there are 190 people up there. I mean, if they want to be on it, I can be on it. Like. Oh, awesome. Thank problem. you. But for the folks who who have exactly an hour cut out, uh, maybe we'll just respect that and cup, finish a couple of things so they're not out of the reckoning for a couple of the prizes we have and things. So I want to do, make sure we do that. And before which, I'm going to take your advice very literally in terms of showing ourselves to the camera, spending not 15 minutes but a minute for today, and um, I have a request from everybody oh. just trying to create our own little piece of content for us here at Stream Alive. So those of you who are comfortable doing so, uh, if you can. can you just uh start your video on i just want to take a gallery picture we we got so many amazing faces over here so if you can put your video on uh and if you have an uncompromising situation just for a minute or so i will take a quick photograph of everybody uh, this is me literally taking abhishek and manish's advice quite literally right now and i said well oh, in what better way to create content than to take a gosh these are amazing faces guys why do you have your videos off all this time oh these are beautiful fantastic Okay, can I request my colleagues at Stream Alive to help me with this as well? If you know me, you know I'm going to botch it up in some way. So I'm going to go from. We've got multiple screens. I've got four screens over here. I'm going to go from one to four. So you don't know which one you're on. So you got to keep those smiles going. It's good practice for Abhishek's exercise. You can chalk up one minute for today. So pretend you're talking there. You're on mute, so you can talk, and we can't hear you right now. But hey, guys, I'm going to start taking some screenshots. All right, in three, oops, two. One and no, we got to do that again. Sorry, three, two, one. First lot, awesome. Uh, let's do a second one. Gosh, okay. You got a lot of open videos and faces in the second one too. So thank you for that, folks. Three, two, one. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, I'll take a quick one. The third and fourth, which is either I realize a lot of people are in India. It's late in the evening. Wholly respect the fact that you can't put your videos on, even if you want to. But thank you so much for joining us. We're going to keep going. So if you can stick on, please do. Uh, we have one or two things we want to do, and then we also want to give away some stuff. So let me just jump into that, and then we we kind of Manish Abhishek, since you've kindly said you can stick on, and we got a lot of people in the room. It's still one ninety. It hasn't changed at all. Let's uh, just. address those questions down the line so without further ado uh, i want to jump in here so the first person is going to get a session with you manish and abhishek you also kindly agree to do a session with someone so you're going to get someone to get a session with with you as well and if they behave especially well they'll get that sock or kerchief or whatever that uh, you have from rafa but i'm guessing not but let's let's do this now we got a whole bunch of responses here and if i stop here you'll just see 
gosh, the, 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 I mean, there are so many things here. I'm, I would love for us to spend time on addressing all of them, but I'm, unfortunately, we won't be able to. I'm just scrolling through it for Manish, you and Abhishek, you to get a sense on this, on things that you might want to address after this, once we finish the picking out a winner so that uh, folks who need to leave can leave. Uh, it's going to scroll through this slowly. You guys are I mean, able to get, all, get a broad these, sense, right? All these questions are so relevant, you know, like all of all of these are so relevant. Like, if you don't mind, we just pick one or two people from this right away first. So we got this uh, yeah, yeah. feature that I'm I'm personally in in love with. It's called Winning Wheel, right? And what I'm going to do is uh, all the folks who answer that question on what are challenges you faced with building an online audience. We're just going to pull all those names and gosh, I mean, there's more names than we can actually represent over there. We're just spinning that little wheel. I think there's a childlike thing in all of us that like to see wheels spinning reminds us of melas and fairs and fairgrounds and if you're older gambling. Uh, Akib, so someone of the stream live team, please take a note uh, and, and just ping Akib separately. We'll be in touch with you. You've won a copy of Manisha's book. Uh, my book and a session with Manish as well. I don't know what your question is, but I'm pretty sure Manish can help you with that. So uh, if we can, I'm going to remove Akib over here since you already won a prize, you don't get a second one. And we're going to spin this again for someone who gets a session with Abhishek and also gets a copy of both books. Mayuri is a lucky person. So uh, Mayuri, we'll be in touch. And if you don't, by the way, folks, sometimes uh, we might miss out getting in touch. Hi at streamalive.com if you want to get in touch with us and remind us about this. Uh, and a third person who uh, you don't want advice from me on how to build your audience, not yet at least. Um, I'm still in that phase of recording myself for one minute every single day. But a third person who's getting get a copy of both the books. Uh, we'll just get this out of the way so folks who've been with us for the last hour are still in the reckoning and then we'll jump into questions. Good, Manish? Good, Abhishek? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, Nagi you, Reddy, you def sorry, go on, Manish. I said, uh, you said that, uh, you know, maybe you cannot advise on how to build audience, but guys, I just want to be, uh, sound that if you really want to know how to do a public speaking, Lux is your guy. I mean, he's given one of the best <laughs> TED talks ever. And, and it is not friend. TEDx, it's a TED talk. It's a TED talk that was recorded, uh, in, in New York. Uh, he's spoken on a very, very touching topic. Everybody should check. Just put Lux Narayan TED Talk and watch it. It'll give you so Thank much perspective. You. Appreciate the shout out. Thank you so much. And then that's when we first met and, and, and you helped that become an amazing yeah. talk. And, and it's it's funny. We never thought we were going to be here where you and Abhishek. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning. Abhishek and Manish, we're very, very fortunate to count them on the advisory board of Streamer Life. So uh, we, we are fortunate to have some of the best brains in the business advising us on, on you know, democratizing this this whole way of people doing meetings and sessions and all and are grateful for that. Nagiradi, congratulations. You'll, you'll have a copy of the books and hopefully you enjoy uh, reading them. Uh, guys, I'm going to go back to these and 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 you know these these questions. Hopefully you had a chance to ingest them. Um, you, you want to look over it again and, and address it in nobody because we also got this, we got a lot of stuff more than we can cover, I'll warn you right away. So for those yeah. who can stick on, we're going to continue talking for a little bit. We also got a lot of questions over here, right? How do you find a mentor? I don't have a good command on an English. What about other regional languages? How many videos do you upload in a week? Um, just consider me your cursor. Ask me to go around and address any questions from here. So we got things people came up with as challenges and transient thoughts. You got a bunch of questions. We can't address all of them. So it's really whatever you can and want to address first. Uh, uh, let's let's take this, guys. Uh, uh, anybody who said don't know English or don't know Hindi or whatever language, language is never a barrier. Uh, there are takers for all all languages, and uh, uh, you know, India as a country, we are blessed with so many languages, regional, so many, uh, you know, even dialects, and you're free to create content because I I know people who are creating content in all, all, all kind of languages. Uh, I'm gonna take some of these questions. Where you know people okay let's let's uh, uh, address the elephant in the room views we don't get views right or or we do not get readers uh, on our uh, tweets or or our LinkedIn post um, see see what you are creating uh, you have to be friends with data 
and and just go back to your 10 or 15 videos that you have created and watch it yourself and and ask yourself do you really want would you, would you watch that video yourself if if yes then 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 great then we have to figure out something else if not then maybe you need to change the way you are recording or, or things like that how many videos to upload every platform uh, has a different uh, kind of an approach however uh, what i would like to say that even if you are uploading once a week just maintain that consistency right be on once a week for for a year don't break that pattern right slowly slowly people recognize your pattern and they will wait for your video if your video or if your content piece is adding credibility and value to people's life right people only relate to things that add uh, you know so i always speak about this thing uh, you know draw x axis and a y axis if x axis is information and y axis is entertainment your content should ha- should hover around that graph right either you should entertain fully or you should uh, educate fully if you are blessed enough to be an educator who also is funny or entertainer then you will you will win i mean nobody can stop you right so make sure that your content is is in this in this x axis and y axis kind of a section uh quick hacks for uh, people who are trying to grow on instagram instagram has become a very real first kind of a platform um when you are creating your reels ensure that your reels are under 42 seconds not less than 20 seconds not more than 42 seconds make your reels in in this uh, timing um always use your trending music lower the voice while uploading the reel uh, do that write a long caption to uh, be generous with the caption while while making reels there are people who read captions it's still a debate where an hashtag are still relevant not relevant uh, i mean there is no official announcement from meta uh, which owns instagram that hey hashtags are dead so uh, put a uh, relevant hashtags 5 uh, to 7 not more than that uh, keep it clean engage with your uh, you know um, kind of uh, uh, comments that you get one comment two comment five comment doesn't matter engage with them uh, one one underrated hack of growing on instagram instagram stories do not ignore instagram stories uh, keep your stories on uh, one one more thing that you need to do is instagram only understands when your content is being shared you know that that triangular button share so if you are a new content creator become shameless and you yourself share it to you 20 20 of your friends and request them to share it further right and that's and instagram understands that hey this content is being shared a lot that means it has something relevant and it starts pushing it in in, in its algorithm right so these are quick hacks for instagram folks who are trying to figure it out for youtube short folks same story i mean make, make sure that your shorts are not more than 42 seconds uh, keep it under 45 seconds i have seen a trend of of shorts picking up more uh when they are of this section upload once once a day if you can uh shorts because it 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 doesn't take much to kind of create those uh if you have wherewithal then please go ahead go ham with your editing and and your uh, content quality and stuff like that but but if you are a new person no problem please please go ahead and 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 upload uh, the way you want long form content is tough to crack but it is very very rewarding so if you are somebody who wants to do long form video content it is going to be painful but it is going to be very very rewarding that's where you make a lot of money i mean um, you know uh, by monetization by brand integration and stuff like that um what else what else uh, linkedin if somebody is uh, trying to do linkedin content guys show up every day write write at least 100 words right on on your linkedin uh, if you if you are on twitter now even twitter has started monetization yes i understand that uh, it is only for people who are subscribed to twitter blue which is x blue and and uh, they have some weird uh, calculation of only if you generate 5 million impression in a month uh, for consistently for 3 months then you are eligible for that payment and the payment today seems like peanuts but obviously it is going to grow because they are also uh, integrating video and streams and stuff like that uh, but but uh, to start with as i said engage with profiles that you like uh, follow 10 to 15 content creators who you like or trend to uh, 10 to 15 personalities or pages that you like and start engaging with them and eventually you start uh, creating original content uh, sorry on for going on this marathon but yeah these are oh, all good. tips how I do you come up with an give. idea every day oh yeah one. how do you come up with an idea every day i mean 
I see the again. I'm give, I'm gonna give you a very Dada Ji kind of an answer, uh, guys. If you really want to create content, first con- start consuming content. Read books, read blogs, read articles, watch a lot of content, and 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 uh, you know the content that you will watch you that will inspire you to make something right on the lines right like for example that 75 hard thing that abhishek mentioned uh, you know a lot of people have started doing that and and uh, you know it's like riding the wave and and people are 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 picking on it right and a lot of people are innovating from that so there are people taking hey uh, 75 hard for i will upload 75 days continuously janvi somebody who uh, you know we mentioned she uploads one reel every day and and when she met she was on 4 5000 followers uh, when she met me a couple of years ago and she, she, today, today she is 5 lakh plus uh, and, and thriving right so again guys consistency will will make you win uh, just upload i mean yeah a related question also touching upon you know abhishek mentioned the example of his friend who does micro niche content around uh, the you know, geography in India in, in a very different way and her take on it is very different, right? How, just look at that first one over here. How do you identify the winning niche? Maybe you've got multiple and you don't have a conviction on which one of these is really going to hit you, you know, help you hit it out of the park. Do you initially try a lot of them? How often do you try? What, what's, what's your answer to that first question out there? Abhishek, you want to take it? Yeah. So... Yes, it is possible that you have multiple niches in mind and you're not sure which way to go. Uh, So yes, definitely try multiple niches till you figure out two things. One, what is the audience or the platform reacting to more? And two, what do you feel you're most comfortable with? Remember that it is not a sprint, it is a marathon. Whatever niche you pick, you will have to make content on it every day for a thousand days or more at the very least, right? So it cannot be a niche that you feel that I mean, if you're going to run out of ideas in about 10 days, it's it's not something you should be doing, right? Uh, so apart from trying multiple niches, also sit down and start writing down thoughts or notes or observations or ideas that can become potential content pieces tomorrow, right? And so, so do that homework a little bit before you zero down on one. Obviously, even if you're trying multiple niches, don't try like five, six, take two or three at most and start getting into it. Most important thing when you start off more than the content in itself is the discipline of making that content. One of the big mistakes that a lot of early, uh, you know, uh, beginners or those who have just started the content creation journey do is chase views or chase likes. What happens with that is you will constantly feel a sense of FOMO and you will constantly feel like a failure. The real number that you should chase is the number of content pieces that you're actually putting out there. And how many times are you putting it out there without missing a day or without missing your schedule, right? Chase those numbers while keeping quality in mind. Again, quality is not just how the video looks, but what value or what entertainment it provides to the audience. Again, going back to the earlier point, it has to either entertain or educate. Also, it has to be either unique in terms of the topic or unique in terms of delivery, right? So as long as you're doing this, you you are on the right path. Uh, I want to just address a couple more questions. One was long form versus short form. Uh, do not believe that one is better or one is more lucrative than the other. It is very important, firstly, for you to decide what you would be comfortable with. And two, what does the niche that you picked require? If you're talking about uh, a topic which needs good 10, 15, 20 minutes of explanation or talking or, or you know, uh, education, then you should definitely get into long form content. It is a different journey altogether. If you think you can uh, uh, create bite-sized content and uh, keep it below 60 seconds, then you should definitely export short form content. Again, it is a factor of you multiplied by the kind of topic or niche that you've picked. I would say only after you've done this analysis, you pick the platform. Don't pick the platform before. You might say, oh, I want to do only Instagram. And then you realize, oh, my videos are 15, 20 minutes long. You will not succeed on Instagram if your videos are so long, right? And so do this before you you decide on taking a direction. Do not be under any bias that long form is better or short form is better. Whatever format works for you is, is the one that's good. There are hundreds and thousands of creators who who have succeeded exclusively on short form. And there are thousands of creators who have uh, uh, succeeded exclusively on long form. 
there is no there is no bias on that uh yeah lux is you age a bias it? sir yeah question on One, age over here post post production people bias baba. people baba is the example there is no age bias yeah people baba is 70 plus year old right and i i know i know somebody uh, you know i met met them at uh, uh, again bhuvan taaja khabar premiere uh, you know i i met uh, a dance teacher who started uploading content uh, at the age of 68 and she is around 200k followers on on instagram oh. she has been a dance teacher all her life uh, she teaches kathak and she started uh, you know teaching kathak through uh, instagram by saying that this is how you do positions and steps and stuff like that and she is a rage today i mean people love her and she's oh. already done a lot of brand collaboration stuff so age is no barrier language is no barrier uh, it's just showing up every day and doing it this i want to uh, just give one small piece of advice to anyone who is putting anything out on social media in any capacity uh please 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 be authentic in other words please do not lie about your credentials please do not go with this whole line of fake it till you make it it's not going to happen if you are not from iit don't go around telling people you're from iit we have seen a very unfortunately famous episode yeah. in the last few days uh it is just extremely saddening to see uh that this has happened uh people if you are able to add value people will trust you do not take anyone's trust for granted be authentic be true to them and to yourself and i genuinely believe however boring you feel your story is it is not if you put your story out in the right way it is interesting in its own way no no two stories in the world are the same no two people are the same we all have our unique journeys to share please keep it real please keep it authentic if you are going to you know go out there and try to find your way by lying about your achievements sooner or later you'll you'll come out you know if uh, the the bigger you go the bigger your community the more under the scanner you are in in a way you are a celebrity right in a way you are a small celebrity and every celebrity is subject to scrutiny right so if something is off about you in fact if nothing is off about you people will still trouble you <laughs> so if you're giving them <laughs> enough fodder then then you're calling for for the worst of time and it's not worth it really the guy whom you know i don't want to mention everyone here probably knows uh, built a quite a substantial audience and in within a matter of 48 hours he is no longer present on any social media platform it's not worth it okay so oh. it's just putting this out there from uh, uh point of view that it's not really you know worth doing putting in all that effort for for to hit a dead end at the end just on the word of of effort and and um you know I would love any we are about half an hour past time which is no surprise i think we can go on for another hour or so if if you wanted to uh, but we'll probably you know close it out in a few minutes would love any parting pieces of advice you folks have and and just uh, there were quite a few comments on questions on how important is editing post production and we'll talk about that but before you jump in Uh, a couple of folks mentioned they've got to leave and asked if there's a recording yes there is a recording you'll get a you'll get an email follow up that gives you a recording and i'd love to leave something behind for manish and avishek as well for for being so so amazing no surprises there but um this is a feature of stream live called emojis everywhere so folks can you just drop in one two three emojis that communicate what you thought of today's session uh shit i don't need to explain you you guys get it so just drop in a couple of emojis that explain what it is uh, if this was a year and a half back manish abhishek i would have said we will mint an nft and convert it into a cryptocurrency and give you coins and stuff <laughs> and i'm not going to say any of those things uh, but i think you know a picture speaks a thousand words so so guys there's a lot of love coming your way cool right. i'm um, grateful thank you thank you uh, people are grateful too as you can very very obviously see over here and and you will have a copy of this this little thing to frame and keep some value Some, see what happened put, doctor some, somebody has put up puke image which is sorry for wasting your time if we have wasted your time <laughs> so they, 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 they they're really trying <laughs> to hack it because uh, let, let me yeah. okay this is people having fun which which by the way we encourage we like people having fun yeah. so no, 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 i like it i mean Yeah. You're gonna make the person who put the puke emoji work a little harder. So if I go out here, <laughs> let me just show you this feature. I delete the puke emoji. Uh, the person who put the puke emoji might have to do it all over again. So let, let's see what happens over here. <laughs> you can put it again, by the way. <laughs> anyway, no, no. Uh, all emotions are welcome. You know. Yeah. Abhishek, you're on mute. Huh? 
But folks, it's any, no any passing. It's no surprise. Sorry, I, it's from the person whose name is also not mentioned. It's I would, would not expect <laughs> did not expect trolls in today's session. But yeah, this is a part of social. So anyone who wants to get into social media, this is this is what you'll have to put up with. Huh? <laughs> you will have to deal with. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you will be. You you have to grow a thick skin. You have to become a crocodile as soon as possible. Awesome. Any parting words of advice, and then we're going to call it a wrap. Uh, we can go on and on, but uh, would would love to know any 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 parting words of advice you have for the team here. I see. There were so many questions, and I'm going with this feeling of of a little like I don't know. I want to call it sad, but but I I wish we had more time to address all of it because all these questions, and I know that I have answers to all of them. um but but we had time constraint but uh, you know i mean a, a thought crossed my head like uh, lux can you send me all these questions and can i record myself on all of these and put it out but again that's going to be putting me to a lot of work but <laughs> you yeah, i mean i'm in mixed emotions right now and uh, you know so many people joined in so i'm grateful oh, be, be be careful what you wish for my friend because i'm just actually going to stop stream alive on this session now <laughs> and, uh, th this is totally unscripted part of our uh, thing over here, but uh, I, I, don't, I think you guys might probably know this since you're advisors to the company as well. But what happens at the end of the session is uh, I will get in full analytics. It's not here. It is the right. I get a full analytics on our entire session, post session, which includes all the questions that people have asked. So I will certainly send you a copy of this entire. As you can see, it comes as a file. I'll send it to you. Hey, so if you guys have anything uh, to wrap, we can go with that. But I just had one quick thing to wrap. So thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, we do these sessions almost every week, and they're all called live from Stream Alive sessions, where we have people who are generous with their time, like Manish and Abhishek. And Manish Abhishek, I think it's fairly obvious we need to make this a regular feature because there are more questions than we can answer. We sure. need to make it a yeah, longer yeah. feature and a regular feature. So just being a little greedy out here and putting it out here with about 108 witnesses that we should do this more often. but this has been awesome guys having you i mean no surprises on how easy and free flowing the conversation was and the amount of i mean th th there was a gem a minute if not more i i, I could see and i think that was reflected in some of the emojis too but but thank you so much for all the the thoughts the ideas You've given all of us a lot of food for thought you removed all the excuses off the table saying there are really no excuses anyone can get started and stuff Th this is fantastic and uh, if you have any stuff you want to wrap up with we'll do that and then we'll call it a day thank you everyone for joining us again stream alive if you want to do this in your own sessions streamalive.com sign up for a free free account all of us are very easy to reach um ping us if you can be of help i i i see a lot of lot of industry leaders some of my friends who've joined uh, you guys i don't know how much justice i did to you because i can keep catching up you with all of you guys offline as well um so yeah i mean you guys took out time like 9:30 in the night and joined uh thank you <laughs> i don't know what to say i mean these and lux these guys are not like these guys are like a big deal you know <laughs> they're like champions of the field i i saw some of their profiles i know exactly what you're talking yeah. about and, and thank yeah, you yeah, gentlemen yeah. and everybody whether you you're one of those people who's unemployed and trying to figure out your next gig or you're someone who's made it in life it's, i think some of these things are great unifiers where we have people across different strata different ambitions different things just united by a thirst for knowledge a thirst for you know learning new things doing new things and i think that that's one of the beautiful things about sessions like this thank you everyone for joining us abhishek any parting thoughts no no i'm just i'm just glad with this and uh, obviously i i i would just put on record and say this is Pro, just part one of many more that we will do in the next coming upcoming yeah. weeks months uh yeah so i i think i think it's great and we should keep doing this yeah thank Absolutely. you guys <laughs> thank you everyone thank you and thank you good night see you all have a lovely rest of your day take care folks